pedal people. It's the pedal guy here. How you doing? Today what we're going to do is we are going to check out or take a different look at the Harkey HF44 fuzz pedal. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Well, we brought this pedal in a year ago and we did a video on it and it was a very popular video on our YouTube channel. We sold several of these to bass players around the country and it occurred to me that this might be a good pedal for guitar as well. And before you ask yourself, hey, pedal guy, what, what the hell are you thinking over here? It, is, it does actually sound really good with guitar. And we'll prove it to you over the next few minutes. Uh, we are going to plug in an Explorer. We're going to plug in a Strat. Now, this is an FET-based fuzz. Um, it has a lot of the characteristics of fuzz in that you get all the sustain you want, um, probably to the point of an uncontrollable amount of sustain and distortion. But uh, the, when you use this with guitar, you're going to find that this works better as a distortion pedal with a lot of uh, sustain attached to it than it does like a standard fuzz pedal. So it's got a much different characteristic uh, as a fuzz pedal when you use it with guitar than if you used it with bass. But you'll hear for yourself. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and plug in a, uh, a V Explorer first and give you a listen to what that sounds like. Uh, as you can see, we also brought our green screen here. So let's go ahead and start the magic. Well, all right, we've got our green screen working here and uh, you can see me there, Hi, how's it going? Um, and uh, so what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna go ahead and just give you a quick introduction to what this pedal sounds like just at a pretty nominal setting. So we have the gain turned all the way down. Okay, so keep that in mind, it's all the way down. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is uh, just go ahead and kill the mic and uh, give you a listen. All right, so how's that for, a, for an introduction? Can you believe you get that much out of a, of a bass pedal? Um, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and we haven't even started digging into what you can do with the different, uh, the different knobs here. So this is at the minimal, minimal setting. So um, what we'll do at this point is let's just go ahead and start playing with the gain, the tone, and the mid, uh, give you a couple of ideas of what can happen. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this guitar in particular is that I'm, it has a, a high gain output on the uh, bridge pickup here. So uh, to get more of a stock sound out of the Explorer, we can switch to the mid, uh, or if we really wanna get the, the, neck, the, the neck fuzz thing happening, we just go up to the neck pickup there, which is a standard humbucker there. Um, but uh, in any case, you'll hear a big difference here um, as I start going through the different knobs, and then we'll plug in the Strat, and you can have a listen to that as well.
Yeah, so are you starting to hear this now? That this could actually be a really cool pedal for your pedal board if you're a guitar player. So you shouldn't let it just because it's a bass pedal be a limitation to your playing uh, or how you might actually utilize something like this. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and plug in the Strat and hear a couple more tones. Okay, well, we've got the Strat plugged in here. Now, keep in mind, this is definitely going to be a different sound than what you heard with the Explorer. So um, let's just uh, get right to it here. Okay, we've got our tone, our clean tone here. So we'll go ahead and turn on the uh, pedal and uh, have a little fun. All right, so as you can hear, this is definitely not the kind of pedal that you, uh, well, this is not the kind of guitar that you would play uh, speed metal with uh, or any of those kind of things. You could definitely get some of those tones out of here, but it's a little harder to grab it. So uh, one of the things you can do with a single coil that I've always loved is that, um, especially when you start working with the EQ knobs, you can get a nice mid scoop that just sounds kind of cool, kind of like you've got the wah pedal halfway on. Um, and uh, let, let's just uh, have a little fun with the tone knob on the guitar, and we'll also use uh, some of the uh, EQ here on the fuzz. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so in conclusion, uh, the HF44 uh, fuzz um, sounds great on bass. It can also sound really good on guitar, uh, given some experimentation with noise and with all the things you can do with, uh, uh, with the, all the different parameters here. So uh, don't judge a book by its cover. This is actually a really cool pedal for a guitar. And if you like this video, sound off in the uh, viewer comments below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, but for more information on this pedal and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.